Hey guys, here's a video as promised. Um, I've done a bit of work on the Jeep. Uh, I've got a distributor out of an XF Falcon um, and the associated ignition system. So I'll give you a quick rundown on what I had to change. Um, basically, it's got the distributor, um, coolant temperature sensor here, um, manifold pressure sensor here. Um, that's pretty much all the sensory equipment. Um, and the rest of it is the computer. So the map sensor obviously hooks up to your intake manifold. Um, everything else plugs straight into the harness out of the XF. So I've used the whole harness comes straight off the off the car um, and only really ends up needing positive supply and a negative supply, which is a bit dodgy, but whatever. Um, I'm running the 34 ADM carby, but you can run whatever you want got a throttle position switch here so when the throttle's closed this switch is also closed um, that tells the ECU that it's running idle um, so it's got an idle function it's got a warm-up function it's got a start function I think because um, it's plugged into the starter relay um, this plug gave me a bit of strife this guy here because um, I accidentally earthed that wire which is actually the tachometer reading so don't earth that because um, you'll boil your coil which is what I did um, but other than that, everything's fine. So you can plug all your all your car wiring into this plug, and I've got the ignition line here, uh, and I've got the starter relay here, um, and that's it. Um, the one thing you do need to change is on the distributor, at the base of it where it um, fastens onto the engine, it's not circular. So the XF had this funny looking eccentric shape to it, and you can't tighten down the distributor fastener on this engine unless you grind it back. So I ground it back so it had enough room to um, to fasten down but it only took 10 minutes and that was it. Um, scoot over here and that's it. That's the ECU and it's wet which is bad. Don't get it wet because you might wreck it. Um, but it runs very very well um, which I'll hopefully show you in a second. Um, and the fact that the wiring was all self-contained made it really easy. So make sure you don't cut any of the wires because you can use all of them. Um, right, I'll start it up and see how we go. Okay, we've got Big Brother here to give us a boost because uh, my battery ran flat. Um, but other than that, we're ready to go. Let's see if I can get it to start. Nah. We fiddle around with these. Okay. Hey! It's a bit funny at the moment because it floods, so I don't really know what I think that. But once it gets going, it's not too bad. So that's it. That's running on the XF ignition system. Um, once it starts, it's really good. Um, but again, I think mine mine doesn't start properly because it's got fuel supply issues. I think the car is a bit weird. Um, we'll just turn Big Brother off and then we'll hear it properly. Ding. All right. So that's it. It's really smooth. 
think it's low on oil, which is not good. And it revs really well. This is bone cold, essentially. Once it's warm, it runs a little bit better. Um, it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's lost any power. It's certainly a lot more responsive, so I'm happy with it. It took me a couple of days to get it sorted out properly, but it's working really well. So I hope this has been informative. If you've got any questions, ask me, and I'll try to tell you, try to make sense of it. Thanks.